ChatGPT browsing is back. Does this mean that we have up-to-date information and data of today? And is this information any good? Therefore, I'm going to compare ChatGPT browsing with Bing AI, Google Bart, and good old Google. So let's go to ChatGPT. To switch on browsing, you need ChatGPT Plus for now, and then go to this tab and select browsing. The same will be for your mobile. So during the recording of this video, ChatGPT changed the dashboard. You now have at this moment no more different selections. So DALI or uh, image upload vision, or voice, it's all integrated into one. So if you want to use the voice or if you like to upload an image or create an image, just write it as a prompt in ChatGPT. So let's write down here, what percentage of C-suite executive use personal AI tools for work in 2023? An important question, this gives us an indication how people view AI and how it will be integrated inside of business. So let's find out what ChatGPT says. So here you can see that it's browsing in May of 2023. We also had browsing, but then it all of a sudden it disappears and you could see what it exactly is doing. Now it's not possible to see it. I'm kind of impressed because it's very good at finding the answer for it. So let's go to Bing AI and let's see what happens. Okay, I ask the exact same question and let's see what it gets. So here you can see that it used the, the sources. Uh, of course, here you also have the sources, but here ChatGPT gives a little bit more in-depth and good uh, information about my question and uh, let's see what google bart will say with this will come with exact same question what percent of c-suite executives use personal ai for work in 2023 all right this was the fastest uh, that we found until now it also gives the right answer and now let's see if google if i put the same question here in google what it gets so this was quite easy because I used a phrase that's very easy to find on the internet. Let's challenge it a bit more and see what we get back from the different platforms. I'm asking the second question. Do people that use a lot of gen a generative AI in 23 focus on the cost reduction? And if not, what is it then? By the way, this video is part of a series about the new features of ChatGPT, like for example, uploading an image inside ChatGPT and then ask it how to solve a problem that's in the picture, very cool. Also, how to have conversations with ChatGPT. You can talk to ChatGPT and it talks back to you. And how you can create stunning visuals by using the DALI integration. If you like to see these kind of new features, you can watch this video over here. Okay, so it took some time to collect this information. I don't understand why it's uh, taking that much time. Uh, let's see how it will take the other platforms. So exactly the same question. Okay, this is the answer that I got from uh, Bing with AI. It's quicker than uh, ChatGPT in my opinion and in this case, uh, but the answer is uh, more different. In fact, the answer that I'm searching for is not in this first result. So let's see if Bart does it different. Okay, this is really uh, different than with ChatGPT. So with ChatGPT, it takes some time to get the answer. Uh, but to me, this is the fast one till now. Let's see if the content is what we're searching for. Okay, so I've read the content, um, but the answer, it's not in there. They kind of touch it, but not in the way uh, the answer should be. So let's see what Google has to say about this. Okay, so here it's not, and that's the the difference with using uh, ChatGPT or Bing or Google Bart. Instead of that you search and you get a result, now it's not 
clear if this is something I need to find. So I need to click on this. And now I have to find here what the answer will be. So in this test where I made it a bit difficult to get the right answer, I have to say that ChatGPT was slower, but it gave the right answer, but a little bit broad. So the right answer is new opportunities. That was what I'm searching for. Of course, this is all general, but I was searching for what are they using it for then? And uh, of course I can understand product drifty and cost reduction, but that's already the question. And, and you need some time to search through the information to get the right answer. Bing, um, it, it's, gave different answers to my question. And of course the question is a bit open, so I can understand that I get different answers, but I was searching for uh, the answer, the kind of the right answer. Bart, it's very quick. Um, I don't know how they do it, uh, probably because uh, the Google engine is behind it, but uh, the answer is not what I'm searching for. It's too broad. So the answers are innovation, yeah, the uh, efficiency, yeah customer experience, right? Decision making, yeah. Th these are all like common open doors that they are providing me. And Google, I needed to search more and that takes a lot of time. So in this example, I think that uh, ChatGPT browsing uh, kind of gave the best answer, but we're not there yet. My question was, do people use a lot of Gen AI in 2023 focus on cost reduction? And if not, what is it then? So here is what I was searching for. And this is the answer, what I should have got from them. And uh, you can read it yourself, but in essence, it says that cost reduction is not the only uh, goal or incentive using AI but they use it to create new revenue streams or new, totally new businesses. So that's the answer I was searching for. And of course there are more answers to this question, but in this example, you see how different platforms give you different kind of answers. And I think these platforms will get better at getting the right answer. So let's try one more question and see what kind of answers we get. But well, before we go to the last test of these platforms, I'd like to inform you about AI Adventures Insights. It's a newsletter where I share every week three insights about AI using for your business or your daily life. And it only takes you two to three minutes to read and you're up to date about AI. You can subscribe via the link in the description of this video. Let's try to find information about myself. Can you... Tell me more about Lars de Roy. Okay, so it founded something. It's still uh, a bit slower than the other platforms, but it's uh, correct what it's writing here down. So they use LinkedIn as their source. Here it's uh, a website, a Dutch website that translates to English. Then they use a YouTube channel and an older YouTube channel they use too. It's only in Dutch. It finds out that via YouTube, I'm located in the Netherlands, which is correct. So let's see what the other platforms do with this question. So let's write it down here, just copy paste. So this was very quick. It's uh, nice to see that they searched kind of stuff of me. Um, but I have to say that at this moment where I am now in my development, ChatGPT got it better, and I don't know how they do it, than Bing. This one is very uh, dense, the information is very easy, and if you like to learn more, then it's easier to get. So it's nice, but I don't know, ChatGPT just got it right, and this also got it right, but different. Now let's go to Google Bart. Again, a quick answer. So three things. First, the information is kind of correct, but then we dive deeper and I was like, it's saying, Lars is a regular speaker at industry events. 
and has been featured in publications such as Forbes, Entrepreneur, and Inc. He's also the author of the book One Kind of Mark. Okay, so this is <laughs> this is not true. I've never written this kind of stuff, so I don't understand why <laughs> why it says that is me. It's weird. The other thing is I can't find any sources. So where did the, they got this from? Where can I find it? If you know, let me know in the comments where I can find it. But I don't know where it gets it from. The answer is um, kind of okay. It makes a match from different sources. But it has some weird, well, this especially, this one, weird uh, things that I found, which I don't have written anywhere on the internet. And let's go to Google, of course, and let's see what it brings. Okay, so it's this is LinkedIn. I, I don't know why it scrapes a course that I followed. Then my personal page. And here you find what I kind of do. And then there's what some other stuff. Um, the thing is that uh, the AI platforms give a better search result of what I do. And in this case, I know, of course, the best myself. I think that ChatGPT, although it is the slowest of uh, the four, it gave the right answers and also using the right, I don't know how they do it, the right chronicle order that I'm now into. And I think that's something that's amazed me. So let me know what you think about these four platforms and how you use them and which one you think is the best. In conclusion, the live browsing feature of ChatGPT is correct but it's a bit slower than the other platforms to me bing and google bards they are faster but not always accurate with the answers and google it's a different kind of search of course it's not ai and you need some more time to find an answer for your question or take you more time to find it. There it is. It just is very simple test to see how the live browsing of ChatGPT works and compares to others. I'm curious how you will use it. And in the meantime, you can watch one of these two videos.